And that was where it happened. Hey guys, welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post Fnem, where I have just had a bit of a bit of a problem here. So, as you saw, I was time-lapsing just getting this room blank and ready for doing stuff when I was putting in a final bit of trim along here. I took out this last block just as the camera finished recording, and then all of this, I mean, just let me get down and show you all of this suddenly started sprouting uh, silverfish from me. All popped out at the same time. I was doing alright taking out one or two of the, the little ones. I say one or two. I took out loads of the little ones. But then something like four of the tough um, silverfish came out. They're the big black ones. They have a bit of armour on them. Uh, even with the jump crits and going through my ammo. Oh, how much out of my ammo did I go through? I went through nearly all my ammo. Um, eventually they, they got the better of me right here. Uh, they'd managed to cut me off because, you know, those tricksy silverfish do things like that. So, all in all, yeah, I've lost a life, guys. But I, we are going to be working on something today. We are going to be working on the room to do this seed analyzer, or what I should really call my um, horticultural room. Here we will have, like, maybe the seed analyzer on this room, or maybe uh, a bank of seeds across this wall. Have the seed analyzer here. I don't, I don't know exactly how we're going to set it out yet. I just know that we need a room for all of this stuff. So, in between episodes, or rather, whilst I was doing that time lapse, I was setting uh, some of these carrots and stuff free to go. Uh, and we've got all sorts of mutations on the go here. I've done some... some uh, what's it called here? Analyzing, that's the word. I've done some analyzing. Uh, and we've got some, some nice seeds here. Some nice seeds. Unfortunately, there, there are quite uh, sparse, shall we say. We've got loads of these 1-1s. One Those mutated out loads. And we've got loads of these 2-2s. Two they also done. But another thing that I managed to do was I had some sugar cane growing right here. Uh, whilst it was growing, it got to full maturity. I knocked it out. Uh, and we got some sugar cane seeds, which is actually one of the things we tried to do last time. So I'm just going to very quickly... Now, oh, of course, we're back at the beginning of the book. Uh, Life Rebooted, I believe. This is the one. Yeah! Okay, so we are going to claim a reward. What are we going to do? I think we're going to go with the uh, quarter heart. Uh, it's time to start getting that, that life back that we've literally just lost. Because uh. Uh, Now... Whilst I had this all laid out, something crazy happened in this corner here. I had a sugar cane, or was it this one over here? I had sugar cane and either carrot or wheat. Now I was busy, uh, when I was mutating these sugar cane, uh, not the sugar cane, when the carrots up, I had these crops laid out like this, and it must have happened here. Because if you'll look, we've now got a scallion, whatever a scallion actually is. I believe it's a uh, yeah, type of leak is that i don't know but uh, is that what this was for yeah so no we wanted m barley next okay so that's good uh so we, we are on our way through the mutation lines i need to go empty out my inventory and finish off uh just getting the floor set for this place but yes i will be back when i'm a little bit more prepared than what's going on here and look we've got we got weeds already Ugh. I just thought I'd let you guys know that I was dead. Okay, so the next thing that needs to happen after every death, and I do mean every death, is a poor period of mourning. And the best focus for that period of mourning is obviously going to be the funeral slash grave site. Oh, there is a, uh, a small slime in our way. We're going we're gonna to ignore him. Uh, and I have chosen this peninsula over here as the place for all my deaths, or at least where we're going to keep all the graves. Uh, it's a nice out-of-the-way place that seems to have a little bit of... Um, I oh, know presence to it. Uh, do you see that? Do you see that over there? Hopefully he's stuck under there and we're not going to have to worry about him. So I am going to come over here. Uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is uh, ascertain where we're going to put some stuff. Now I've got this. Uh, this is going to be very useful. I would like to break all this, but well, I mean, look at this. Just, just look how long it takes. If if I had enchanted tools, I would be going wailing on this. Uh, yeah, yeah, going wailing. That's that's definitely a thing. So we're going to do this instead. Off, uh, I think that's about wide enough. We'll start by putting in a small grave here, but I can almost guarantee we're going to end up needing extra space. So I'm going to start right here. Uh, we've got to dig down, obviously, and put down a container for the the build. And I've just realised that I've probably not gone far enough back because I want a space for the grave that I hold it upon my hand. Uh, let's just dig that. Actually, no, I have... 
left enough room. Oh, can I not put it on the floor? Is this not a thing that can happen? Okay, well, we'll have to do something else about that. So, uh, well, it kind of, it's kind of good. It gives us a, a plan for what to do down here. Because uh, I was worried, I was wondering what we were going to put in the actual coffin down here. Because obviously we're going to have a coffin, right? Uh, why would we not have a coffin? Uh, so we're going to start with this. Do we get those obsidian back? No? Okay, we'll put this... I'm a little bit vexed that I can't put this down here. That's, that's annoying. So we'll pop this in here as a marker. Show our respect. We're going we're gonna to cover it with a little bit of dirt. Nope. And I made a special flower to commemorate it. I had to, to put some chemicals together for that. We're going to have to come back with a fence or something like that. I think for now, though, what I'm going to do... Let's pop this like that as a headstone. All right. Well, there we go. There, there's my first grave marker. May there not be too many more to continue. Uh, I have something to show you back at the shack, especially now that we've cut ourselves some obsidian. So just, just let me make this little return trip. Okay, so we're, we're coming back home. Now we can hear a gasp. That's terrible. Okay, the first thing I want to do, I want to go into my map... Uh, let's find the waypoints. The period of mourning has been observed. We're going to get rid of that. And now I want to show you something. You remember how we were doing all the stuff with that um, glass? Well, not with the glass, with the sand. And how uh, we only had so many stacks of gravel and we put it in here and we only got something like one in four would turn into a silicon dioxide. Uh, well, I've discovered something amazing about obsidian. Now, I was just trying to clear my inventory, keep my inventory fresh and, and, and clear. So I put the obsidian in, and look what comes falling out of it. I mean, like, what is this? Look at it all. I put in, like, five, and I got, like, over a stack of silicon dioxide. So we are not going to be short of sand, but that is for uh, another thing. I just wanted to show you that I discovered that because, wow, that, that is going to be a boon to my sand production. But what we're doing today, of course... Is that not that? That's not that. Where did it go? Magnesium duct. Uh, brilliant. Got it. Uh, what we are doing today is the horticultural room down here. So, yeah, the, the period of morning has been observed. I'm going to get in and put this floor in. I'm probably going to bring you with me during the floor laying process because obviously there's uh, some silverfish here. I put those in the wrong place. That's terrible. Uh, let's start by taking some of these out. Oh, I'm terrified terrified. I mean, I don't know which ones will. Uh, my chisel is on the edge of breaking, so I'm not going around using the chisel to find out. Uh, this this was not the situation I wanted to find myself in. We'll put that there. Uh, and then once I've done this one, uh, I'm then going to carry on... Oh, I didn't bring it with me. Uh, carry on the oak slabs, use them for the middle of the room, have this dark oak trim around the outside. Uh, let's start by just taking out the outside. Um, hopefully this is nice and quiet, and then I can go and get the uh, get the oak slabs. I'm really worried about this. Oh, there is some... There is a lag spike. That's all right. That's fine. I thought that was going to be because new entities were coming into the world, and I would have cried. Uh, I'm not going to fill that in. We're going to—I've put a torch down, as you can see. So we're going to uh, just leave this space here because you never know when I'm going to need it. I've got a feeling we're going to need to route a lot of stuff through here, uh, whether it be um, tubing or items or you know stuff like that so yeah i'm going to place all these blocks down and i will be back in a minute uh, and show you what i'm going to do with the middle it's not that exciting though so this might be uh closing the stable door after the horse has bolted but the main reason that i'm bringing you along you guys along with me here is not to uh not to watch the marvels of my floor design but of course i mean look at this how could this not be a marvel of floor design but mainly because i didn't know where the silver fish were you see them here you see them here uh right so we Last thing we want to do is set them on fire. Uh, that That's what I did last time. Oh, 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 see? Trixie, I tell you. Trixie. Last time I'd set them on fire, and this was, of course, a bad mistake because they just kept on taking damage. Uh, and, uh, no, no, no. I think we want to kind of go this way a little bit, and then we can deal with that one. Uh, and obviously when they're taking damage is when they're doing their call to their friends. There's another one about somewhere. I can hear it. There he is. Um, let us take that block away and let them up here. We want to try. We want to try and take them out. Really, we don't. We don't want to leave them to do that. I'm going to disappear into another block thing because that's just annoying. That means we don't know where. Ah, oh, just look at them. They're, they're coming from everywhere. Got to try and take that guy out. Was keeping the others at bay, and there was another one. Did you see him? Did you see him? 
Oh, right, yep, yeah, got to back off here. Got to back off here. Uh, again, not using my, my gun because that creates fire That Wow. That creates fire damage, and fire damage is not the way to deal with these guys. Really is not. Single hit kills, much like Pigman, is really the way to do it. Okay, are we? Go there we risk it. There we risk going down here. Sounds alright. Oh no, it does not sound alright. Sounds like there's some trouble somewhere. But there we go. That is why I brought you guys along as well. Because I knew there would be trouble somewhere. So we're going to carry on taking this out. Just, just this floor level. Just this floor level. At some point we're going to have to get under here and do something about this. Like that. Don't know which one's a... Uh, that one? No, we're good. Uh, what I'm worried about is what light level this is here. Let's just have a quick look. We are at nine. Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. Uh, yeah, got to make sure the underfloor spaces are safe. I mean, we don't want them to be spawning other monsters. Now, I'm fairly sure the other side of this wall, we have something. Um, a cave or something. I keep on hearing, kept on hearing monsters back there. And that was uh, most upsetting. Most upsetting. It's not what I want. So at some point, we're going to go and do some serious caving. Uh, I would like better armor at that point. At the moment, I'm literally only wearing what I get off of the uh, the monsters that I kill. Uh, which is not much, as mainly I'm fighting silverfish at the moment. I should really... Um, Set myself out as a, a, a mighty fighting force. Get myself some armor. Get myself some more better guns. Better guns are definitely a way. Look at my oh, look at my uh, insanity on the bottom right. I'm at positives. I'm over 100% sane. I am so sane. I am insane. Do you reckon that's what's going on there? I can hear the other silverfish somewhere. I don't know where he's at. I don't know where he's at, but he's putting me on edge. And this is the base room I'm going to get going with. I know it is just a blank slate, but that is what I, what I wanted. I wanted a blank slate to get going with. Uh, these are going to come out and kind of stop at this wall. And then if you see how this one indents a bit, I'm going to do the same sort of indentation here. Then we kind of have like separate areas. This is the, the way to the horticultural area. This is going to be the way to the kitchen. That's that's coming very soon. And then obviously there's stairways up and down. Uh, I would like to try and fit a decent sized storage room in somewhere near the top. But these are all plans for the future. I will be back um, when we're going to figure out where all the... Um, horticultural stuff goes and i think we're gonna start growing some more stuff as dictated by this mutation quest all right guys so i think it's time at you know three quarters of the way through the video that we got some questings done now let's have a look in our questing book one of the things that i really want to do is this eyes that don't cry and as you will see from this i did actually have a potato once upon a time unfortunately it was it got put in this chest and forgotten about and it turned into rotten food and i had to um get rid of it because it rotted so you know so i need to try and make a new potato now potatoes are made from potassium unfortunately i do not have any potassium right here which is a little bit vexing but i have done some research into the nei and if you look at the potassium well not only is this the hardest thing to go through you see potassium's mainly only got from chemicals but if we go all the way along uh, somewhere in here, you'll see that the uh, varieties of stone, diorite and granite, seem to give a lot of potassium, whereas like everything else you need potato for, for some reason. Uh, so, I think what we're going to do is come over here, pop this in here, and pop that in there, and see what we get. So that's something that gives out potassium. Look, there we go, there's some potassium. That is exactly what we're after. Uh, this is gallium arsenide i have no idea what this but this here like this one's got potassium right at the beginning uh so we got eight bits of potassium i will deal with all those chemicals in a moment we're going to pop these in here <clears throat> let's see what else we need for the potato uh chemical synthesis we need eight water which i don't think we actually have to hand at the moment uh potassium and a cellulose now cellulose we've got in there uh we can make some water um I don't know if it's going to be as simple as I'm hoping it is. Yes, it is, but I don't have enough oxygen to continue making water. There's a noisy thing out there. Where is he? Let's see if we can get him lured onto... Oh, he's up there. Okay. Let's go to the safety zone. Oh, no, he might be able to jump over the top of this. Oh, wow, there's a slime on a ghast over there. What's going on with that? And I think I can hear a skeleton somewhere as well. Yeah, look at the little bugger there. Uh, hopefully, he's just going to kill himself on the... Wow, okay. Um, that's unexpected. 
We'll, we'll have to see what we can do about that. But anyway, that, that got rid of the um, slime noises. That's that's what I was trying to do. And now we're trying to make the potato that we were making. More water. More water is the problem here. Unfortunately, I've got a feeling I'm going to have to go outside. Let's use the infinite water source. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, I don't want to click on that with my water bucket because that could go all wrong. Uh, where's the iron? I need to take the iron back. Brilliant. Okay, we got some water and we got some iron. Let's clear this out. Uh, I will remember to sort the iron out at some point. We got the water in there, so we need, what was it? Two water. Was it two water? Let's have a look. I think it was eight water. Yeah, eight water, two potassium, and the cellulose. So, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look, ice. Oh, now that's going to be useful at some point. I don't, I don't know when it's going to be useful, but it will be at some point. Okay, potatoes. Let's, um, grab three of them no can i not get three what am i short of water okay we'll get we'll get two of them that's fine and then immediately turn these into seeds and that should be our first quest done okay brilliant we're gonna seed the taters uh once again i'm gonna get the quarter of heart as opposed to like any food or energy cells i'm not sure how we make energy cells but we will get round to that at some point all right cool let's uh make our way downstairs i've got i've got some crop sticks here we're gonna we're gonna start these planting up straight away uh, i'm gonna go with these two uh i think and then we pop these here and here and then i think if we want some super badass mutations on the go we want to do ooh, click too many times we want to do that okay another thing that i want to experiment with is if we just come into here and type the word seed oh, no it said seed uh we should have this thing here i want to find out how this deals with the different types of seed that we've got on the go. I haven't put down a... Uh, that was not the right place to do it. I haven't put down a crafting table. Let's do this. So if I saw correctly, it was two of those, two of those, and I needed planks. So uh, let's, let's go with something like that, maybe. Okay, so those, that, and then this all the way around the outside. Gives me these st seed storages. Now, uh, we've made two. I don't know if I'm going to want to. Let's put that there and drag this out. Uh, so I want to... Let's say we want to store these best ones. Okay, we, we pop that in there. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this Oh, this is very nice. Do these all go in? Let's just try and pop them all in. Oh, oh, th yeah, no, this is exactly what I wanted. Exactly. Okay, let's take these all out so we don't waste them uh pop this down here uh i am going to put this oh no let's start here might not be the best view might not be the best view what i'd then like to do is put more down this way and then more across the top so we end up with one of those almost logic grids in the middle where it's like you know seeds with carrots will make whatever's in the middle here uh, I think you guys know what I mean. Um, I hope you do. Anyway, else I just seem like a crazy man again. Uh, so let's get rid of this. Uh, oh, no. First, we need to put these seeds away. So let's do it this way around. Can we just double-click them all in? <laughs> no. No, we cannot. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, brilliant. Uh, we'll figure out how all that works in a second. I'm going to take out the one next to it because... Oh, look. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. It's turned a, a funny color. Um, it's pretty nice. I mean, it's a nice purple color, right? But I don't know. Ooh. Is that what I want? Is that what I want? Uh, I don't know. But I need more iron if I'm going to continue doing this. I think, yes, this is what I want. Oh, come here, Mr. Seed. Uh, I think, yes, this is what I want. I'm just going to have to think about it a lot better. Okay, another thing that I really wanted to do. I've got my uh, got my pick on me here. Uh, I think we're going to take down this. Where, where, where were they? Let's pop that up there for now. Uh, it would be nice to replace this with, I don't know, sea lanterns or something like that. I don't even know if we've got sea lanterns in there. What, what version of the game are we on? 1.7 or something like that? Uh, so maybe sea lanterns aren't a thing. Oh, oh, is this outside on the other side of this? Let's, uh, let's get a bit of marble on my, on my bar. And so we'll, we'll, we'll have a look. We'll, we'll try and see. Yeah, no, no, good, good. So we're going to make a little bit of a hollow section here. I don't think we're going to go back too far. Maybe just the one as this is taking a while to dig out. I will face this up with something else as well uh, but I lay down my crafting bench over here so let's go get that I like having this crafting bench around it it's, it's a, a useful thing to have somewhere uh, that's gonna go there this will go here here uh, we want to pop the book inside <clears throat> okay I think we're starting to make this place look kind of all right got some marble here let's um, let's just pop these in around the outside here 
what else needs to be done in this place? I think that's kind of it for the moment. Ooh. Oh, will you look at that? Okay, well, I knew it was around somewhere. I knew there was going to be uh, some caves. I think we have just found them, and we will go exploring probably next episode, because right now I'm kind of running out of time. So what I'm going to do in between episodes, try my best to get these uh, carrots, uh, not carrots, potatoes bred up to a decent, um, decent thing. Ah, on that note, can I make... A watering can. Is that is that a thing? Uh, water. No, I, d I don't see it anywhere. That's that's a shame. That's a shame. That is a real shame. I would have liked that. But that's all right. I believe we have something equivalent in Agricraft uh, down this line, this sprinklers bit here. So we're probably going to have to go through all these water sections. Ooh, sweet potato pie. It just seems like simple logic to cross a potato and a sugar cane to get a sweet potato. We're definitely going to be doing a lot of breeding over the next uh, next couple of episodes. Um, yeah, so I am going to make a whole load of uh, boxes for this wool. We'll just lay them out across the top line for now until we figure out what we're going to do with the rest. And I will see you next time, guys. Oh, wow, look at that. Brilliant. I will see you next time, guys, where we're going to do, well, all of this stuff here. Bye!